What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. I made a mistake in one of my previous videos. I don't think it was my fault. It seems that the ravenous in the PTS is buggy, but let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Right. So in my last video, or well, one of my last videos, we were looking at the new breaking point gear set and we came to the conclusion that it was pretty meh right the the whole four piece kind of counteracts itself you know you never get the reload bonuses at the same time as the weapon damage and weapon handling bonuses and we seem to hit a hard cap i think it was 16 uh, when we was using the ravenous obviously the ravenous is a rifle but it seems that the ravenous is alone with this and that with other rifles or marksmen's, it actually works okay. Uh, now, whether that is just because the Ravenous has got, you know, a dual barrel and there's something really weird going on with it or not, I, I don't know. Obviously, you know, the Ravenous was an obvious choice. We can have a huge mag in this thing. Um, and you would hope that you could build up a lot of damage. And what you can see here on the backpack, let me just show you if you weren't familiar with my previous video, it says hitting a shot with a rifle or a marksman grants the stack. The max stack is equal to the weapon's magazine size. Uh, and that's where obviously we were hoping that the bigger the magazine size, the bigger the damage we can get. Um, reloading will grant 2% weapon handling and 2% weapon damage per stack for 10 seconds. Now I kind of think that needs to, this needs to be higher or this needs to be longer. Uh, probably not longer because in heroic missions you'd, you're going to be at the end of the area before this kind of runs out, I would guess. So I think the damage really just needs to be higher. Now, you can make it one point higher by taking the backpack, as you can see here. From two to three. And that really doesn't make too much difference either. But I thought this would be a rubbish video to make if that's all I was going to talk about. So I've gathered a whole bunch of guns, uh, just basically just to, to try some stuff out. Now, lucky shot is kind of in for a win here, right? Because it increases their mag size by 20% and missed shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. Meaning we're always going to get the full potential of the talent because we're always going to max out our stacks because we're always going to hit every single bullet in that magazine because if we don't, it gets returned to us. So reloading will only be after the maximum size. So, for instance, the Baker's Dozen comes with Perfect Lucky Shot. It increases the magazine's size by 30% and missed shots have 100% return cover, giving us a full 21 in the mag. And you can see that here by, we just shoot away. And look at the bonus afterwards. It literally doesn't move. Now this is pretty good, right? This is pretty cool. And we start stacking all, all over again. But we get the full 21% as long as we were at the beginning of the magazine when the stacks start. And then the, the weapon handling and you know damage buff is actually pretty decent by the time we get to the end. But it's only applied half the time. After this we go back to, you know, the normal damage and wibbly, wibbly wobbly. So I thought, well, actually, what other guns do we have in the category? Well, we actually got, uh, we have SPDs, right? So that's in the marksman rifle category. We can use that with this set as well. But normal SPD problem. This is just too wild for the same, very, for the same damage. as just using an M1 here. When it reloads and it counts down, it's bouncy down. It has that much weapon handling added to it. Still makes it mighty uncomfortable to use. So the SPD is out. Uh, other guns that I thought about was maybe the G28. Obviously a newer gun to the game. But again, super bouncy. Really, really, you know, although we are going to get some decent stacks from this thing, because as you can see, we have a lot of bullets in the mag. Sort of 54. So that's a lot of damage, but as you can see, it really still doesn't put out that much damage. 3 mil. And it's just not that great. Uh, other guns that I tested that I thought, oh, let's have a go, see if they're any good. 
Uh, it was the ACR SS, but that really didn't play out too well either. Because the USC-45 just beat it out. And if I was going to use a gun with this set, this would probably be the one that I would use, right? Because this is pretty stable. It's not quite M1A standards. It has a huge magazine. And this is always pretty wobbly. Watch this now. Look at this. You can fire so fast. My finger can't take it. My finger's going to drop off. The reload speed's wild. But you have got to get to the top. You know, 55. We have no auto fire for rifles in this game. It's a bit of a killer. Really is a bit of a killer. Let's let it run out. And let's put all 55 bullets into this thing now. It's just wild when you're spamming it. Then watch this now. This is literally laser beam as fast as you can. You got 10 seconds really to, to put out an insane amount of damage. The faster you can click that, it's actually going to let you shoot it. So, yeah, there's some pretty big. Yeah, you know, the USC seems pretty good, right? To be honest, USC, maybe the Bakers does them. Nothing else, I don't think. The G28 was trash. The SVD was trash. But, uh, you know, overall, it doesn't really change my thoughts on this gear set. Uh, the the reload thing is kind of very counter. The refill in the mag is very counteractive to the rest of the set. I just don't think it's doing enough. Or the, you know, these aren't doing enough. I know we get the weapon handling, but, you know, we've said this many times before compared to other high-end sets and things that we have in the game. You replace weapon handling with anything, you are technically losing damage. So, yeah, it's still not the greatest, but I mean, with the USC or with the Baker's Dozen, it's not terrible. But would I save this in my loadouts? No, absolutely not. I just don't think it has enough damage. I'm kind of forced into running glass cannon. I don't mind running glass cannon, but I know a lot of people don't like it. And you're kind of forced into running glass cannon because you really need the damage from somewhere else. Because the gear set is just not, it's just not providing enough. This is PTS though. Uh, I haven't yet provided any feedback yet. I'm just kind of making a list. I've got a lot of feedback to provide. So I'm going to get that done hopefully before this closes on Monday. But so yeah, let me know what your feelings are in the comments down below. How would you change things? What would you do? Uh, just so you can be completely transparent with this you can see obviously i was getting 15 percent weapon handling here i was obviously getting weapon handling from the on point but i use the new eagles grasp gloves as well because they give you 15 percent magazine size and they also give you 15 percent weapon handling so yeah still still pretty much of the same opinion with it all it underperforms uh, but obviously this is pts1 and if you were going to make any changes to any of the gear in the PTS, let me know what changes you would make in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, agents. Goodbye.